Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video isn't a fight video. This is a simple vlog episode from my Japan trip. I went back to Japan for a few weeks mainly to see my family. This is my niece and nephew beating me up. Another purpose was, of course, to eat a bunch of ramen. Oh, I hope this footage is making you hungry. I didn't film much YouTube stuff during the trip, but I got to film this episode with Jessica-san. Hope you guys remember her from my previous episode. But before we get started, I want you guys to enjoy a little bit of what I got to see in Japan. Last time I went back to Japan in 2022, I think it still felt like Japan was under the pandemic situation. Even though people are not so concerned about COVID anymore, they just never took off their mask. So this was my first time to go back after Japan became more back to normal. Okay, let's get this episode started. If you have seen my older episode, Jessica-san is a Kudo practitioner. We did an episode where she taught me the basics of Kudo. She lives in Saitama, so I took some trains and a bus to get to her house first. Okay, we arrived. Hello! 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 Thank you! You're ready to go! Yes. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been living here? I've been living here about 10 years. And you got really nice balcony here. Yeah. Oh, so you practice outside. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I worry about like what the neighbors are thinking when they see me, <laughs> see me on my veranda. That's okay. Like, Come by. Hi, <laughs> goodbye. Come by. There's no alcohol in there, I don't think. Just green tea. Uh, in January this year, I tried fourth gun. Yeah. So if you pass, you think you will start teaching? But that's kind of like 10 years from now, maybe? 10 years from now? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get these? So this right. is my room, this is my bedroom. And yeah. so when I wake up in the night sometimes, like, there's no curtain here, the light's coming in, I feel uh -huh. like there's someone in my room. <laughs> it's actually like there's three of them in my room. Anyway. And they're yeah. not wanted, you know. They're very, yeah. they're very friendly. So, most recent purchase. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, How much? This one about Hachima. Mm. And then this one is very cheap, around the mark of Ichimayen. So very, very uh, cheap. Maybe to mm. some mom, to your mom. I thought these guys are from Toy Story. <laughs> These are your books? Yeah, yeah. Oh. this one is like my latest favorite. It has pictures of everything in Japanese traditional culture. This is the book for this, the instruction manual for this one. When their, what is it, shogun is carried in the little box. Yeah. Yeah, he can't keep tachi and bow and stuff in there because it's so small. So you throw it at people oh. in here and just pull it back. And then also if you run out of arrows, you tie it to the end of your bow mm. to make a spear. Uh, to make a I tried that the other day, it worked really good. Interesting. Yeah. And what's uh, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saitama Ambassador. So, so, so. Repping Saitama. Repping Saitama. Is this your character? Yeah, so this is Kobaton. Kobaton? Nice okay. one. Ready to go. Let's go to Starbucks in a coffee shop. We should, we should both wear one and go for a walk and see what people do. It's <laughs> 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 like kid's size, you know? So if it's you, if size, you yeah. see the shikoro, uh -huh. it doesn't come down to my neck. Mm. And this, this whole, the whole purpose of the shikoro yeah, is right, to protect right. your, your, your neck, Because that's right? where, you know, like your so artery so and everything is running. Ooh, so. Jessica Tono Sama. How do you like driving in Japan? It's nice compared to New Zealand. Really? Yeah. In Japan, I think it's more like, you know, because Kokobise is like Kikubari and Omoiyari. Right. It's not like Jibun Kate or like 
do whatever you want, right? So it's very peaceful. But more and more recently, you know, they have laws about audio and dance, so some people are getting stressed. Today we're going to do shihamako. Uh, we use a yumi, like in Kyudo, but the bow is shorter, so it's hankyu and very long arrows. The meaning of the name Shiham Mato is 4.5. Mato is target. So mm -hmm. everything is 4.5. Oh. So in the old style of measuring, the yeah, arrows yeah, yeah. are 4.5. The distance to the target is 4.5 something. Kudo is very, <coughs> it takes your whole body. Uh, Shiham Mato we're sitting um, and the drawer is very short up under our chin, not way back here like here. Uh, 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 uh. So you know, people with a different, you know, bodies, shapes and people who are in wheelchairs, people who can't stand, mm -hmm. um, it's okay for them to do shihamato. Konnichiwa! Shiburaki desu! See you soon. So he's, I think he's like 90. He's a, he's a 90 something. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, so let's go in and try this. Shiham, <laughs> Shiham Mato? Shiham Mato. Let's go. Mato is very small. It's tiny. Actually, this is the biggest one. And they shoot from there? Yeah. Eight, eight meters? About eight, eight meters? Eight point two meters. Yong, Yonggen. It's hollow inside, right? So mm. it makes a cool sound when you hit. <laughs> so there are four different sizes? Actually, they're smaller than this as well. Wow. So as far as I know, like a pet bottle cap. Yeah, this one is for like competition. You can see it's got points. That's me So so so. Shihamato is Kyushu Miyazaki Obi no ho de Hajimata. Hajimari それを稼いするために農民がこの武器を持って立ち上がった。それはその当時の父様が認めて農民のご楽としてすめたら動画ということで始まる。現在はもうすごい盛んです。なんかお酒を飲みながら。当時。シャンマトっていう焼酎もあ
It's getting so close, y'all. Uh, the next time you're gonna hit. She had this stick. Oh, oh kitty. Tonight, time to unwind. Cause it's that kind yeah. of night. Such satisfaction. You ready? <laughs> yeah. 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 All those times, I feel like when I pulled it, I knew it was gonna go. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. So it's everything you can about feel it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Fun. <laughs> so you hit it. Well, thank you, Jessica. So happy. I hit three times, which makes me happy. Because remember when I did judo, I hit none. People are talking the mm -hmm. whole time, right? So it's very different from Kyoto. Like it's super social. Right. That's why it's like centered around like short jokes. Yeah. Like yeah. It's all about like conversation and right. meeting other people. People are nice. <laughs> They're nice people. All right. Thank you. Bye. I'll probably see you next year or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for okay. taking Have me there. Have a good there. trip. All right. Bye. bye. Alright, so I had a lot of fun doing shihanmato in this episode. Being back in Japan makes me sometimes emotional, seeing family, friends, and what's changed in the city. Sometimes it's difficult to take it all in. But I love being back there, and I'd love to go back again soon. So, goodbye Japan, and see you again. <laughs>